Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all my loyal subscribers who've been there along the way and have stayed with me uh, from the earlier pick a card readings as well as through all the weekly oracles and the energy forecasts etc. Thank you so much for being there and thank you for your support. I'd like to also welcome all the new subscribers uh, on board and I hope you enjoy what we're doing and um yeah, let's get into it. So I'm here with you this week with the weekly Oracle card guidance. And this week we're using the African Animal message, uh, Messages deck here. That's the package, packaging of it. It comes in a box like this. And uh, yeah, these are the cards. And we have three options. The option number one, number two, and number three. Go ahead, make your selection. You can find the timestamp either in the description box or in the comment section. I wish you a lovely reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we're asking, what is our weekly oracle guidance? What is it that we need to know? What is our African animal message this week? I feel like it's this card here. And the card is confidence. It gives you the number 19. I feel here that it's talking about interaction with others and having confidence in one's interaction with others as opposed to having confidence in oneself necessarily. It's about being, it's about how you fare with other people or how you fare in competition or in a scenario of competition. It's about what's looking down at you and what's judging you and how um, you feel in these environments. And now I feel like this message is not going to resonate for everyone because once again, it's a very specific message. But it seems, feels here that there needs to be a banter. There needs to be some kind of back and forth. There needs to be an interaction where you actually are able to uh, present yourself or whatever you're doing in uh, with regard to other people or in competition with the other people or in comparison to others or at least... Um, be able to bring something that is personal to you outside of you and to be able to bring that into the world and it's almost like you need not to be afraid as you do it so um it's almost like there's all these um i feel like th these grass here these grass blades are almost there to judge you or, or look upon what you're saying and what you're doing and these are like other the birds are like other birds in your environment which are or who are going to challenge you and talk to you and ask you questions about what you're going to be doing and uh, questioning the uh, the truth of what you're saying or the um, you know whether it's valid or, or not and I think here it's um, the question is not you know whether what you're saying is valid or not but rather well are you presenting with sincerity are you presenting with a truth that's within you how are you feeling about the subject matter that you're presenting? So once again, that is a very specific message. And I'm sure that not all of you are going out this week to present something. Um, I just want to see what other messages are coming across here. I feel like one of the other messages here are also talking about how um, you can be yourself regardless of uh, interaction with others. So you and th this may also align with the first message that I've delivered here. But it's almost like, you know, it's OK to be yourself and you don't have to align yourself with other people. You don't have to interact with others. It's not necessary for you to 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 interact. It's not necessary for you to get that peer review. So um, it's almost like in in some of your circumstances, it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be alone also when you're with others. It's okay to feel alone also when you're in the company of others. And it's all right if you feel a bit left out. It's okay if this is not, if it's not your scene or if you don't really feel like you fit in. Uh, it's okay to, you know, be your own color, wear your own uh, values and, and not actually allow yourself to be uh, pulled, pushed over by the values that are dominant in, in a room at a given time so even if this is a family situation that you're in where there's a predominant value uh, or set of values and you don't feel like you fit in um, the message here is is well it's okay to be yourself in this situation and you can actually be just be yourself you don't need to fit in you don't need to be like the others uh, you can absolutely be yourself and it's okay to do so and it it almost feels like in that situation like the grass 
is is almost like the support you know like you have external support here and you can go ahead and be yourself regardless of what others say to you I think um, overall this card really presents itself with a lot of pressure pressure coming in from oneself or it's oneself but it's perceived as if it's coming in from the outside it's perceived as if there's uh, peer pressure there's it's perceived as if there's expectations um, that are placed upon you and which you need to live up to but I feel like this is it feels to me like you know each one of us here are very unique and we're very different and our paths are very different and even though we may be encouraged to go along a certain path or take a certain um, journey in our lives we may not always feel comfortable with that and it's okay to pull back at a certain point and make a different decision and um, I feel this card also uh, talks about you know if you have been going along a certain path for a while if you have been studying something or working in an apprenticeship and working towards something and you've decided that you know what it's really not for you or you're really not sure that this is what you want in your life it's okay to step back and take a different course and it's okay to do something completely different and you might not have the support of those around you um, um, when you do so but it's absolutely okay to do that if that's what you need to do right now it feels almost like the person uh, who's listening to this is it could be like the person who's listening to this is about to um, make a change like make you know a complete u-turn and go in a completely different direction in their lives and I feel like if this is resonating with you then definitely go ahead and do that you uh, this is a sign to say yes you know go ahead make that change it's going to be okay even if everything looks like it's not going to be okay uh, this is the confirmation that it is going to be okay and it's, it's all right to have that confidence in yourself that it's going to be okay and you don't need to know exactly how it's going to unfold and even if you think it's going to unfold in a way that is contrary to your well-being uh, you don't really know that for sure so take care be safe but do what it is that your heart desires is um, the ultimate message for this week and I feel that um, I feel like there's more here but I'm, I'm not sure if I'm able to get into it let me just um, take another moment it's like there's something else you know um, behind all of this there's like the bigger picture or where you're headed to in all of this it's as if, um, you know, you might be quite occupied with what's going on currently or what what your deadline is for this week or for next week or, you know, what your what's going on in in the next month or so. And, you know, who you're interacting with right now, what it is that you need to take care of at this moment. But, you know, what they're talking about here is there is a bigger picture and it's almost a question of where you're headed to and you don't need to concentrate too much on where you're headed to but more like just know that there's a place beyond this and that's where you're headed to and ask yourself if what you're doing right now um, is in alignment with where you're headed to in later on as well like is what you're doing right now just really what you'd be doing in order to get to a place you know two years from now or three years from now uh, in your ideal as opposed to uh, you know in 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 another person's ideal or what is expected of you so I don't know if that makes sense to you and I hope it does and I hope this week's message has been helpful I'm wishing you all a very good happy safe healthy week and many blessings to all of you so for those of you who've chosen the second option here, we're asking what is our weekly guidance and what is our African animal message this week? What is it that we need to hear right now? I'm going to go ahead and uh, channel a message for you as I usually do. And we have connectedness. Now, this is so interesting uh, because I've actually been talking about connectedness in the energy forecast, which I delivered uh, this week, this last week. And I'm going to link that to you here. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and listen to that. Uh, I th yeah, I talk about a couple of other things, but connectedness is the second point I'm making in that in that video. Um, 
here this card is talking about uh, I feel the message here is slightly different from the one in the and the energy forecast but the message for you here is um to recognize that you are all connected in in the sense that whatever is going on in you is impacting every one of us whatever is going on in you is actually being felt by others around you by others who are attracted to you by others that are attracted to your vibration and so it's almost like what the message I'm getting for you is like we are all our empaths and we are all experiencing something on different very on varying levels and um you're not alone in this you're not alone experiencing this there are others who are feeling exactly as you're feeling right now and I feel like for some of you this is directly related to how things are financially for many of us how things are um in the world the the economy or um, how the economy is being affected and how um, we are all being impacted as a result of it. And I think that um, you, what you have to understand is that you're not alone in, in, in experiencing this and you're not alone in uh, the struggle or this, uh, this upper hill drive right now. There is a feeling here that um, the feeling I'm getting is that whatever your belief system, the what they want you to know is that the connectedness that you experience is that which is God, is that which is what is understood as God. It is this consciousness that you, we share that is the the thing that connects us all, that is in fact that which is divine. And it wants you to understand div divinity or that which is God in this respect and wants you to understand that if we all share and we're all part of this consciousness, then it's important to monitor our thinking, monitor our emotions, and really work with that. So whatever harshness or violence or anger that you're putting out into the world right now, not to say that you are, but that's just an example, is is actually uh, going to be impacting every one of us right now. Whatever feelings of victimhood that you have uh, is going to be f felt throughout we are all experiencing that right now so how is it that we can elevate our game how is it that we can empower ourselves so that we can all feel empowered it's almost like it's infectious you know it's um it's contagious the way in which we adjust ourselves or how we uh, tamper with ourselves how we alter ourselves in this consciousness is going to impact everyone else and so it's a very powerful message it's almost saying well you know if we make one mess um if we make one move, sorry, to change and to to embrace something that's that's deeper, that's better, that's more powerful, that's that's taking care of everyone, that's nurturing, then this is something that uh, everyone else is going to be walking with you. It's almost like if one person takes that step forward, there's going to be an army of of millions of people marching with you with that one step forward. So what is that step forward that you're going to take today? And what is it that you're going to be feeling right now? And how is it that you're going to be changing the world right now um, as you go ahead? What is it that you're going to be doing to change the world right now? Are you going to be sitting uh, there and feeling sad about your situation? Or are you going to think about you know, how it is that you're going to be going about this? How is it that you're going to overcome this obstacle if there is an obstacle to overcome? Um, so that is one message here. And I think that there's another message which is completely not um, related at all to the first message. And I want to say that um, this w has to do with partnerships. It has to do with feeling connected uh, with one in terms of a partnership or in terms of love. So if you have a question about love and if that's what's on your mind right now, I want to say that um, consider yourself connected to the one that you love and feel your connection from an, a spiritual place, from a place of spirit, from a place of uh, of knowingness. You don't need to see this connection in daily actions. You don't need to see this connection in the way in which that person behaves. It's okay to feel connected to this person and know that you're connected, even if they are not responding uh, in a way that makes you feel that way in their daily lives. So that that's like a different message completely <laughs> from the first one. And it's also, it also, I also feel like there's something else here. It's like... Uh, there is a kind of um, support that you have 
you know, whether it be an elemental or whether it be divine support or angelic support, there is some kind of support that you have that that keeps you connected. And I feel that this can also relate to one's uh, relationship with one's parents or one's child, children. There's a kind of, um, if you're worried about connection, if you're worried about losing connection, if you're worried about that person drifting away from you, then try to connect with them uh, in a way that, you know, you you are doing so from your heart, from a place of within your, your spirit, from your soul to their soul. Because I feel like this is going to be a way in which you get through to this person. And um, I have a meditation that's actually, uh, this is a little plug, but uh, I have a meditation that um, that is, people seem quite fond of. I'm going to link it up here uh, because, you know, perhaps this is a way in which you could send a message to that person if it's something that you feel inclined to doing right now. If, if there's somebody that you're trying to connect with right now and you're feeling like you're not able to connect with them, recognize that you are already connected and that that connection is there already. You don't need to worry about it so much. And it's okay to actually let go of it and to just go on with things. And if you feel like you can't let go of it, then do something about it. Perhaps do a meditation or do a ritual or, you know, just light a candle and um, speak into the candle, send your message to this person into the candle or something like this. But it, it is, in fact, you are connected and there is, you know, this feeling of being connected. Now, I want to get back to a more general message here. And I feel that with regard to that, there is a sense here of being all one with one another. There's a sense of being together. There's a sense of doing as one. Um, there's a sense of as the, the a body like the sun or the moon is one. That you are one as well. Like we are all one here together. And we are marching to the same beat. And it's really about actually feeling that connectedness day in and day out and uh, feeling that unity with one another as opposed to the duality all right so that's your message for this week i hope that's resonated on some level i hope that's been helpful i wish you all a very safe and healthy and uh, good well week ahead many blessings to all of you so for those of you who've chosen the third option here, we are asking, what is your weekly oracle guidance? What is it that you need to hear this week? And what is our African animal message? Wow, that's a card that's come flying out of here. And we have the card trust. So I feel like for you, um, you need to trust that it's going to work out, that it's actually going to work out the way you want it to, as opposed to being afraid that it's not going to work out the way you want it to go um, in order for you to do that you need to actually make some preparation you need to actually work towards something don't be the message is don't be short-sighted about what it is that you desire what it where it is that you're going to um, try not to be short-sighted have the confidence to be able to be able to prepare for something if you're short-sighted about it if you're not looking very far into it it's because you do not trust uh, you do not uh, you're not you don't have the confidence to be able to trust to be able to believe in something in the outcome of something or the the manifestation of something or the revelation of something so the card here talks about being able to trust that it's actually going to happen the way you want it to and in order for that to happen there needs to be some foresight uh in there there needs to be well if it's going to happen then what is it that i need to to be ready for what is it that i need to be doing if that actually happens the way I want it to. What kind of preparation do I need to make in order for it to happen? And so it's it's telling me that, uh, you know, it's like there's this part of you which is dreaming about it happening, but there's a part of you that doesn't believe that it's going to happen at all. And so you're not making the preparation that you need to make in your lives in order to be able to, to be ready for when it does happen. So it feels to me like, you know, it's like stop dreaming about it. Start putting it into action the way you're putting it into action. If you believe that it's actually going to happen, if you really want it to happen, then go ahead and prepare for it as if it was there, you know. And let me give you an example. Let's just say you're waiting to get a job or you're waiting to get some kind of um, income your way. 
and you're not really sure of how and when it'll come, well, go ahead and prepare your life as if you were working already. What would you be doing if you were working already? Would you have sorted out those things that you needed to sort out and put that away? Would you have taken care of the maintenance around your home? You would, would you have gotten rid of those old clothes that you wanted to get rid of? Because once you actually get working, you're not going to have the time to be able to do those things. You're not going to have the time to take care of admin, bureaucracy, all these type of things, all the things that you perhaps need to have taken care of already. So go ahead and make those preparations and trust that it is going to work out the way you want it to. And if you aren't able to trust, then it's really important for you to ask yourself why. Is there perhaps a part of you that doesn't really want it to happen? Are you, going back to this example of, of waiting for a job to come through, is it perhaps that you are quite comfortable just in your routines and you don't really want to go out and, and work or you don't really want to be engaged fully in a, in a full-time job? And if that's the case, then I want to say, take some time to think about, about it and accept it. Accept it for what it is. Say to yourself, well, it's okay that I feel this way and it's okay that I've make, made this choice and therefore I'm honest with myself and I'm not trusting. I'm not trusting I'm, that I'm not able to trust that it's going to happen because I don't really want it to happen and I'm being honest with myself. So this card, even though it's titled Trust, I feel like it has a lot more to do with other things, with being able to be honest with oneself, with being able to stop living in a world, a dream world, kind of world and, and start making preparation for things that are going to come forth. It's, it's, it's telling me that, you know, don't be short sighted about that. Just go ahead and make preparations as if you're going ahead. And then you'll find that before you know it, you will be at that place where you want to be at, which you are trusting that you will be at. I'm just going to see if there's another message in here for you. It feels to me like some of the preparation that might be necessary, even though I'd given an example where those uh, the preparations seem quite mundane, like doing all the mundane things that you need to do. It feels like here some of the preparation that needs to be made has to do with um, with retrieving oneself. It has to do with working with oneself. It has to do with retrieving that which you've lost along the way. Where is it to have you forsaken yourself or where is it that you are no longer yourself because of some kind of trauma or some kind of hardship that you've experienced or some kind of sadness that you've experienced. And if you feel that this message applies to you, then go ahead and work with that. Try to regain that confidence that you had in yourself. Try to regain that part of you which you've lost already and trust that it will work out well and trust that you know, you will be recalibrated, that you will be whole again, that you will be empowered again, and that you will be able to move ahead and, and, you know, go on as if it was normal. So there's another feeling that's coming through, which I feel is probably resonant only for a few of you, but it's like, you know, you've gone through some real hard times, and now it's about getting it all back together and coming back into uh, a way of living normally. But because you've been through so many hard times, it's very hard to come back into that mode of living normally. It's almost like you're not able to trust because what if it goes wrong again? Or what if the universe lets you down again? What if life lets you down again? So this card is saying to me, you know, just trust it's going to be okay and make some preparations and heal yourself. Work with healing yourself, heal your spirit, heal that part of you that has been hurt and damaged as a result of the experiences that you've had in your past. I feel that you, whatever it is, wherever you're headed to, you are going to have success with this. This is a very clear message to me here for those of you who have this card. You will be successful in the path that you're headed on, that you are on right now, but you really need to be able to trust and you really able, need to be able to take care of yourself and tie up those loose ends in terms of one's healing and what one needs in order to be in balance once again. So I hope this message has been helpful and has resonated for you. And um, ah, there's one more message in here. If this needs to be, if there's anger that needs to be expressed, go ahead and express it. It needs to come out of you. Try to find healthy uh, ways of being able to express this anger, um, whether it be in sport or in some kind of 
outward expression that's not going to be harmful for yourself or for others. Um, there's like, It feels like there's this deep anger seething in you and that needs to be released. It needs to be, there needs to be this kind of release of it so that it can be forgiveness that comes over and peace that comes into the space. And if you're not able to let go of this, then there's no space in there for the that peace and all the good things that can come in. All right. So I don't know if that's resonated with you. It feels like very different messages here. Um, but I hope it, it helps you in some way. And I wish you all a very lovely week as you go ahead. May you have um, what you need as you go along. And I wish you much good health and be safe. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.